Hey, have you ever wondered how to engage a labyrinth? You've come across one and you're not really sure what you're supposed to do. Well, I have someone here. He may not call himself an expert. I think he's an expert on labyrinths. He's been building them for a long time. It's Chuck Hunter. And uh, Margaret and I came out for a hike. We're out in Montreat and uh, we did a wonderful hike and now we're at the labyrinth. And I'm going to let Chuck uh, talk about this, uh, engaging the labyrinth. So, like Eddie said, uh, my name is Chuck Hunter, and I build healing paths. I've been building labyrinths for over 20 years uh, for people on the beach, for people in their backyards, for permanent labyrinths for hospitals, schools, and churches. And people walk labyrinths to find themselves. Some people say, oh, that's a maze. And it is. It's a special kind of maze that you can't get lost in as long as you keep going forward. Oh, a metaphor for life. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. So what we have behind me here is the labyrinth at a gazebo in Montreat, North Carolina. And this is a wonderful place that I'm going to bring some friends. And we go, we do lunch and labyrinth walks together. So we'll bring a picnic, we'll have a labyrinth walk, and then we'll sit and eat our lunch and talk about our labyrinth experience. And one of the things about the labyrinth is that walking it, really helps to center us. If you notice a labyrinth has an entrance and it has a center, and what happens in the labyrinth walk is you wind back and forth heading for the center of this pattern. And so it's a centering process. So very simply, I tell people, when you walk the labyrinth, watch your thoughts, because often intuitions will bubble up. Often you'll notice that you become calmer. Often you'll notice that instead of that very narrow, tight perspective that we have on our problems, that we have on our issues, that we have on our challenges, we get a 10,000 foot view of those, of those issues. And from that 10,000 foot view, we're able to see solutions surrounding us. Because we're, we live in a quantum soup of all possibilities, so why not be able to find those possibilities by walking in circles? Hmm. So I invite you to find a labyrinth near you. Uh, you can type in labyrinth locator to your, um, um, into your computer, into your search engine, and the labyrinth locator will come up, uh, sponsored by the Labyrinth Society and also by Veriditas, two really great labyrinth organizations. In the meantime, you can come to my website and uh, uh, get a free handheld labyrinth that you can walk at home. And um, my website is goldenspirit.com. All right. Thanks. So I got a couple more questions. Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, is there suggestions perhaps to walk it alone or do sometimes people like a couple walk it together? Uh, do you usually do it in silence? Really great questions. Thank you. For the longest time, I preferred walking alone. I didn't want anybody to disturb my labyrinth walk. <laughs> Yet, the thing about the labyrinth walk is that it's a metaphor for our life. So the movement that we have on the labyrinth is like our movement through life. And I don't know about you, but I'm seldom alone. I do treasure my alone time. Yet there's usually people with me, like my friend Eddie and my friend Margaret. They're both here with me now. So the point is that your labyrinth walks will always be different. There's never two that are the same. There may mm. be themes that happen over the days or the weeks as you're walking the labyrinth, but every labyrinth walk is different. So when I walk alone, it's a very quiet inward meditation, but I'll hear things like a jet overhead, and I'll remember back in... Uh, reading Carlos Castaneda in the 70s and how Don Juan said that rumbling you hear that's power moving so for me that's a metaphor for power moving in my life hmm. so other times I'll be walking the labyrinth and there will be children there and when you have a labyrinth and you have children there is running that was my next question oh, yeah. it's like you read my mind oh. <laughs> uh, how do children typically relate to labyrinths? 
children love labyrinths. <laughs> Although sometimes parents say, well, we're going to the labyrinth and you're going to walk. And it's like, I remember when I was a kid, it was like, no way. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's but, so fun. But the, but the thing is, is that a, a labyrinth I heard about in, in Vermont, I believe it was, was used as a teaching device for children. So when the child was acting up in class, ah. they would have a time out in the labyrinth. So at a very basic level, the child was sent to the labyrinth and they ran their energy off hmm. so that when they'd been in the labyrinth, they'd run the labyrinth and they came back out. They were ready to go into class and sit down and concentrate. Now, I don't know about you, but if I do a workout and then I go to concentration, my concentration, my focus, my hmm. accomplishments while I'm working are a lot better, a lot deeper. So. Um, the labyrinth is, is, is a place where we tune up our mind. Hmm. This is a, a place where the heart connects with the head. It's a place to take your soul for a stroll. So I'm reading Margaret's mind right now, and she's saying, I think we should put a labyrinth in, and then when Eddie starts acting out, we'll call time out and put him in the labyrinths, right? What do you think of that idea? That could actually work. That could yes. actually work, yes. <laughs> what I was actually thinking, that was kind of a back, background thought, I would love to see you start walking. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and give us that website again, and then uh, we'll let you do a little bit of walking, and then I'll fade the video out. Thanks, Eddie. My website is goldenspirit.com, and it started out as a jewelry website, and it's now a, a labyrinth web website where you can learn about labyrinths and you can also buy some of my labyrinths jewelry all right thanks so much Eddie. so chuck's gonna start walking and this is um a labyrinth it's out by the montre trails uh past the college you may be familiar uh with with the trail and uh we've also done yoga out here a wonderful spot so everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, and we'd welcome any comments as well. Thank you, Chuck.